why everybody hate this popular skibbity youtuber welcome back to another one y'all boys shout out Genomi. i can't believe i'm reacting to one of your videos because i see you in my discord i have seen you i have seen you i have seen you i'm gonna say this before this video start because i already kind of know what it's about um but i'm gonna save my opinions and my thoughts for when it actually gets to the video uh usually i don't do drama and i genuinely believe peace and harmony and love and especially in the skibbity community we try to keep everything as peaceful as possible even if there is a problem or there's something going on i don't try to speak on it or i don't try to bring too much attention to it uh, to it but for this situation i think it's unacceptable and i'm gonna explain why and that's the only reason why i'm reacting to it because i need to give my opinions on the matter so we're gonna like the video because shout out know me and the name jed know me jed cozy i ain't gonna lie we gonna see if the video good. You might get my endorsement, Nomi, but let's find out about it. From completely lying to her fans and being exposed as an old man to lose. <laughs> and I'm only laughing because I remember when Dr. Bayo was first coming out. I was trying to figure out if it was a girl or not. Um, I did my own research. And I had already used the truth way before anybody. I know the truth about a lot of situations in this community that have never came out yet or people haven't spoke on it. Uh, I just don't speak on nothing. Uh, I know so much about so many things, but it's no reason, bro. As long as they don't bother me, I won't bother them. That's usually how it goes. Uh, Dada Bell ain't never bothered me or ain't never really done nothing. Only thing they did to me was... There was one time I sent them footage for a video that they were doing, and they didn't take out the second layer of my audio. So it made it sound like I was an alien. I was like, bro, you could have just took the second layer of audio out. Because when you have a file, you can drag it into editing and then take the second layer of the audio out for the tracks. Guess they didn't do it. Not sure why. They didn't really have too much dialogue about it. Again, it's not hate. It was just a situation. I was like, come on, bro. Like, why you do that? Losing over 3,000 subscribers and counting. That Bayo has been clowned on the internet due to overusing memes in order to keep viewers hooked without much effort. Interesting. The reason I didn't show the screenshots because I don't... Uh, internet wait. due to overusing memes in order to keep viewers hooked without much effort. Why is this happening? And what is... The I mean, to, to, to their defense, you know what I'm saying? I don't, you know, I don't do much effort either. <laughs> well, on this channel, I just react. And depending on how much effort you think goes into reacting well then there you go i'm not ever gonna say i put much effort but you know the real reason why her fans turned against her hi i'm just neomi i create weekly documentaries and today w we are diving into the possible downfall of a once beloved skibbity toilet youtuber Darabayo, and how a few mistakes led to her fans turning against her we will also explore how fans expose who she truly is behind the screen yo there's a r slash skibbity toilet I hope I don't get discussed on there. I don't be doing nothing, bro. I hope that y'all not discussing me on there. Louis Bomir Jelensky, also known as Data Bio. Yo, they, why did they just, yo, they just drop his entire gov. Or there. I don't want to, you know, pronounce 2024, all that. I'm going to just keep saying they. Jelensky, yeah, also known as Data Bio, is a popular Skibidi Told content creator who creates analysis content based on Skibidi Told and has amassed over 880,000 subscribers w, over the great. past few years of Skibidi Told's popularity. Amazing. Data Bio started her journey on YouTube back in July 26, 2021, just five months after the release of the Skibidi Told series, with her first video titled Skibidi Told Episode 52. Yeah, no, we going in on this. It's in depth. I like it. I secrets like it. Secrets and Easter eggs analysis, which had Data Bio discovering the mysteries and Easter eggs around Skibidi Told series hidden by the creator of the series himself. Although her first couple of videos garnered a few thousands of views, Data Bio didn't stop. With her dedication, Data Bio managed to garner over 150,000 views with a video titled Who's the strongest titan in the Skibidi Told universe? They just got which to brought in more attraction to Data Bio's channel. With Data Bio's unique style of analyzing the series in a fun and engaging way, while discovering hidden details, set her apart from many creators in the Skibidi Told niche. This distinctive approach allowed her to significantly increase her viewer base, growing from a few thousand views per upload to hundreds of thousands. This led to the creation of her second most popular video titled Top 20 Strongest Characters in the Skibidi Told Universe. W. Each upload demonstrated her ability- And I'ma just say this right now, let's not act like Nomi not giving them they flowers. Like, this is straight flowers, this is straight credit. Like, shout out to Nomi for doing it this way, uh, because- you know, we wanna we we wanna make sure that we show like they they were, were like they worked their butt off. 
ability to break down episodes of the Skibbity Talk series and dive into in-depth background checks, making audiences fall in love with their content. Additionally, she collaborated with popular creators in the niche, like Elite Cameraman, Moby, and Isotol, putting yeah. Databio under the spotlight and increasing her channel's growth. On top of that, Databio's ability to uncover the Skibbity Talk series has inspired many creators to follow her path. Whoa! Why in the f yo yo don't play with me yo don't play with no me do not play with me why is my face right here yo 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 respectfully nobody inspired me to do nothing what do you talk bro bro what do you yo yo y'all better put some respect on cozy name first of all first of all I did an analysis video on Skibidi before before Dr. Bio ever existed go do your homework on cozy. The first person to ever do analysis was Moby. I did an analysis because of Moby. Nobody else, bro. Do not, yo, watch out, bro. I'm not gonna lie. Know me. You're cool. I mess with you, but don't put my face just cause, bro. Do not just be putting my face in your video just because, bro. Get your facts correct. Don't, don't, don't say the words inspired and then put my face. Nobody inspired me. I'm sorry. It's not that big of a deal. Shout out Dr. Bio, but no, cut that out, bro. That was random. Why did you just, why you just put my name in there like that? What? My face, my my face, bro. Stop. People gonna watch it who not gonna know who I am and think that Dr. Bell inspired me. Yo, cut that out. Don't. Yeah, please correct that. Cause what what are we doing? Don't don't do that. Don't. You probably never thought I was gonna watch it. No, I'm gonna let everybody know right now. I never got inspired by Dr. Bell, bro. Cut that out. What are we What are we talking about, bro? I, I might not even release this video no more, bro. This is crazy. Uncovered the Skibbity Talk series has inspired many creators to follow her path. Nah, nah, bro. Don't, nah, don't. And then you try to throw yourself in there at the end as if to say, like, no, no, what is this? What are we doing? Chat, what are we doing? What are we doing? <laughs> Yo. Yeah. Well, her content was focused on analysis <laughs> and uncovered. Yo, you did not just try to say that that will inspire me, bro. That, I'm sorry. That's crazy. That is, that's insanity. Hold on, my mic done unplug. Look, they got they got cozy moving crazy. They got uncrashing out. I'm not gonna lie, bro. Again, not that big of a deal, but there's people who gonna watch it who not gonna know who I am. Like you can't just throw a picture of me on there and then be like he got inspired. No. The only look, I'm gonna go on record real quick. On record to say, the only person who inspired me was Moby. And I don't even do analysis like that no more because a lot of people get mad. They be like, why are you milking? I'm not milking, I'm just giving my extra opinions on it. Either way. Moby, bro. And and don't nobody ever give Moby his flowers anyways, bro. Like, Moby is one of them ones, bro. He's literally the GOAT. Like, if you would make a Mount Rushmore of YouTubers for Skibidi, Moby has to be in there because he was the first person to do analysis. At least in my knowledge. Like, if you go back last year, it was Moby. And Elite Careman came out of nowhere. But Elite Careman got endorsed by Creecraft early. And that made that channel explode. And then he got endorsed by Boom. But nobody ever showed Moby no love. And people will say, like, well, Cozy, you stopped reacting to Moby. You got to understand the algorithm and how I do reactions. If I kept reacting to Moby, I was fun to lose viewers and I was fun to get. You know what I'm saying? Like, it just is what it is. That's how the game go. I don't I don't make the rules. I just follow them. So Elite Caraman became the best analysis YouTuber and the most watched analysis YouTuber and also the most respected. And so if you're going to watch a reaction of an analysis, I did analysis to every analysis channel for like two months straight. And it was Elite Cameraman who was the only one that was actually staying consistent and garnering views. It just is what it is. But again, whole point of me saying all of this was Moby. Moby. If you were talking about Moby, 100%. Not Dr. Bio, bro. Cut that out. Get When you're doing these research videos, bro, and you're finna throw a YouTuber in there, and you're finna drop names, and you're finna drop images, make sure you know your facts, bro. Because if somebody do a reaction, they're going to react just like me. Or somebody watching it, they're going to act just like me, bro. That's ridiculous. He threw, threw my, why did they throw my face in there? What, what are we... Covering leaks from the series, she still managed to maintain a significant amount of viewership on her channel, leading to more success. As she continued on her journey, viewers noticed a slight shift in her content style, something that would lure away most of her fans due to its repetitiveness. On That's what I'm saying, bro. Like... You can't put somebody name in controversy and then put the word inspired and then put my face first or like second, bro. That's not that's not what we're about to do, bro. I'm sorry. I got to keep reiterating it because if she isn't or if they are in drama and then you put my face in it and this video blows up, bro, we're, we're going to have a problem.
2024, Dara Bio would post her video titled Episode 73 Part 1 Theory Video. As the video progressed, you can notice a slight change in her content style. She would often put meme videos that the Fukiboom, the Skibidi Toad creator who created them in the past. This strategy is most likely used to have a touch of humor and to glue the viewers to watch the video till the end. Although, this strategy might be smart. Many of her audiences got super frustrated, leading to most fans leaving her channel, with some commenters stating, Darabayo, please stop with the memes, it's starting to get annoying. And also, yeah, I mostly watched her video when episode 66 through 72 before switching to Elite Cameraman. It's crazy that her channel turned into this shit. These wow. comments show how they truly feel about Darabayo's need to put in the memes that are not actually funny which led to fans hating her for this action. About a month ago, Darabayo had over 880,000 subscribers, w. nearing the 900,000 subscriber mark. However, as the weeks passed, she lost about 3,000 subscribers. What led so many fans to make this decision? Approximately 5 months ago, a Reddit user posted a revelation that shocked the Skibidi Tall community, stating, Darabayo has just been exposed as an Russian old man. Darabayo allegedly exposed her personal email, leading to this surprising discovery. The Redditor even shared screenshots of supposedly showing Darabayo as an old man. This rev yeah. revelation seems to explain why some fans may have unsubscribed. Additionally, in the months prior, Darabayo faced- I am about to say, listen, if you're trying to be like a girl on the internet, bro, I don't know, bro. I don't know what bro identify as, but if, you, if you're going to play a character, you need to add a disclaimer about who's running- you know what I'm saying? Because then it's going to come off like you're lying or you, your fans can't trust you. It's controversies for sharing misleading information but, about the Skibidi Tots. And how active was Dr. Bell in Discord? Because if you're playing a girl and you're in Discord full of kids and you're really a 40-year-old old man, that's a problem. As you can see, he said it's not true. I can't show you the real screenshot, but you can trust me. This situation highlights the dangers of sharing there. statements without substantial evidence, which is precisely the trouble that boy faced. However, the controversy quickly died down when he removed the video. But several months passed, and it seems that Darabai hasn't learned his lesson about spreading false information. He recently uploaded a video titled Skibidi Told 77 Full Episode News, where he shared a message from the Skibidi Told creator about a supposed new episode. That included an alleged leak. I'm very sorry for the delay in coming out of episode 77 part 4. I've been very busy and tired doing this last part with the animations, effects, and quality. And I see protests from the community for the duration of this last part. Viewers quickly uncovered the truth. That don't even sound like boom. <laughs> and called Darabai out in the comments. With comments like, Darabai, that leak is fake. Stop spreading the false information. And, this message is fake. Confirm. Boom, don't even talk like that. By the food boom. This further steered the pot of lies. How long will Darabai continue to spread false information and mislead his fans? And how long will his fans remain unaware that an alleged old Russian man is behind the screen? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. With that being said, a video will pop up on the screen. I think you should click it. Hey man, when you talk about spreading misinformation and you're exposing other creators, bro, do not throw my face in there. And also, don't spend you just did the same thing that you accusing other creators of bro and even if it is something so small you don't know how it's gonna affect somebody or people so don't be saying like somebody got inspired and then put my face in there bro that is highly disrespectful bro i ain't gonna lie i ain't gonna lie that shit was crazy you know me out of you it's crazy out of you either way thank you guys so much for watching shout out to me for the video it was a very well-made video besides that one little feel me hiccup but either way um to close this video out i'm gonna say this bro I understand the sentiment of wanting to create a, uh, a channel to try to gain revenue and gain notoriety and do the things you need to do to support your family or support yourself. Uh, you know, you do what you got to do, but you got to understand when you start to become influential and you start to amass a following, people start to look up to you. People start to actually become, you know, your ride or dies. They, they really want to, you know, be feel me like they want to be a part of your your community they want to interact with your videos they want to interact with you whole time you got people and probably still people who think that it's a little girl or it's a girl and they might be following you because you're a girl that happens a lot you know what i'm saying it happens a lot all the time on the internet people follow people because they're very attractive uh so when you're pretending you know especially with the rise of vr tubers like people 
are we we have evidence that people will literally watch virtual YouTubers. The idea of them being a girl is enough for them, you know, and that's probably why some people did support that channel. Now they're finding this out and it's coming out. Feel me? So, you know, I think the best move that a bell can do come out, apologize, and just don't be a girl no more at this point. Be change your avatar to a guy. A 40-year-old guy. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, a bunch of love and respect to Dr. Bio. It's a great, you know, great, great uh, content creator. For the most part, um, you know, they just need to be honest with themselves and the, and the actions. And they, a lot of the time, the people don't even really care. You know, they, they don't have an incentive to care. They do it for money. They do it for, for I ain't going to say fame. You ain't really getting that much fame off of YouTube. I mean, maybe to them, but they do it a lot to sustain their lifestyle, to sustain their life, to, to do it as, as a business, which is, again, fine. I'm not condemning uh, them for doing that. But what I'm saying is, at a certain point, you got to be real with your audience. Um, because you lie enough times, it's going to catch up with you, especially on the Internet. Go on, catch up with you. So with that being said, I'm out. W video. I'll see y'all boys in the next one. Y'all boys let me know what y'all think about this whole situation. Peace.